my pretty wet hair that I have right now because I just came out from the shower not long ago and I didn't have the time to blow dry my hair because I'm so excited to film this video. Anyways, as you can see from the title, I have a Louis Vuitton unboxing which is so exciting. I really wanted this item for a very very long time and I finally managed to get my hands on it. So. I am really excited to share with you guys what I got with me. By the way, before I go into the unboxing, I do have some story to share with you. It's regarding the item and how I managed to get it in the end and also my experience while shopping at the Louis Vuitton boutique because this item was purchased at a boutique that I don't usually shop at. So if you guys are not interested in listening to me blabber, please fast forward to the unboxing part and watch from there onwards. But if you guys are keen to know my story about this item, please continue listening. Well, this item has been in my radar for many many months now. I would say at least 4 or 5 months or maybe 6 months. I know that it's a very very popular item once it reaches Singapore. I know it will be very totally sought after and I was so true because when I consulted my SA at that point of time, she told me that there was a long wait list. And she gave me actually two options. The first option was to either pay a full deposit for the item and once the shipment arrives, she will then notify me to collect it. Or the second option which is to just simply wait. Surprisingly, I actually chose the second option because I typically like to pay for my item and bring back the item on that same particular day. It was actually a blessing in disguise because shortly after this item was launched, there was a bit of an issue with the item which caused quite an uproar on social media. I actually updated my SA. She told me that okay, she will take note of this issue and update the management and also ensure that the item, if she has one, um, she will ensure that the item is flawless. I was expecting to wait for a few months and surprisingly she called me maybe about three weeks or two weeks later and told me that she got a new piece. It's flawless and you know ready for me to take a look at the boutique. So I was very excited of course. I went down to the boutique with an intention that I will definitely bring back the item home. I am very very fickle minded sometimes. When I tried out that item at the boutique, I just don't have that connection anymore. So in the end of the day, I just told my SA that I, I don't want to really have this item. I want to think further about this item so I told her to sell it to whoever that is interested in it and one or two weeks later I started to think about the item again and contacted my SA who told me that she doesn't have any more stocks on her hand I decided to give up on this item and look for any other items to pursue fast forward till last week I was browsing the Louis Vuitton website and this item came across my mind again and I texted my SA and asked her whether does she have this item again and obviously the answer was no but this time I was thinking why not call another boutique which is at Marina Bay Sands Oh, maybe I did not mention that typically I would shop at the Ion Orchard Louis Vuitton boutique because that's where my SA is stationed. And when I called them up, surprisingly, they told me that they have one piece. But this piece was a display set. The person told me whether if I am really keen, I could go down and take a look because they were not able to reserve the item for me as it was a very popular sought after item. I was thinking, okay, why not give it a chance? That's where I decided to go down to the marina boutique the next day. For those of you guys who are not very familiar, we do have a Louis Vuitton flagship store at Marina Bay Sands. And it's a really huge store that has majority of the items, I should say. So I went there with the hope of looking at that one particular piece of display set, which it might not be available to. I don't know of any SA at Marina Bay Sands, so I just randomly approached one of them and asked them whether do they have this item. And when he checked in the system, 
he told me that I was so lucky because earlier in the morning there was two new pieces that just arrived and oh my god it was really like a blessing in disguise so immediately I asked him to take it out and um, let me take a look at the item the item that he took out was actually the display item because he wanted to let me try and have a feel and if I am really liking this item he would then take out a new piece I didn't mind at all because I wanted to make sure that I really like this item before I really purchased it. That's where I told him that yes, I am very sure he's give me a new piece. So while waiting for my item, I kind of like browse around the store and look at the newer collections and also some of the items that are in my existing wish list. And I saw this SA started to play with my kid and I was wondering, it's been quite a while but where is my item? That's where I started to ask him, excuse me, um, where is my item? He was like, oh okay, this is your item. I have already packed it in the box and in this bag. It was pretty surprising because typically the SA would show you the item and ensure that you make a very good check on it make sure that there's no flaws the fact that he just packed everything and put it in a box and in a paper bag makes it pretty surprising for me I'm not sure whether he just totally forget it but I thought it should be like a normal protocol that they should take the item and let the customer inspect it but anyways it's not a very big deal I of course inspect the item it was free from flaws and the more I look at it the more I love it but anyways yep that's the story that I just want to share with you guys the moral of the story is basically to be very persistent in whatever items that you really like I mean I try not to seek a personal shopper or a third party to get the item for me because I knew I had to definitely pay more but in this case I would say that my luck was really up there because I managed to get it at the boutique right now I know you guys must be thinking okay thank you for the story can we just go into the unboxing well let's do it my item comes in this ginormous paper bag the size of this item is a medium size, I would say. Like all Louis Vuitton purchase, it comes with this envelope over here, which obviously contains the proof of purchase. I will not show you guys because, you know, I guess some of you might be guessing what I might be getting. And it's a huge box. So this is the box. If you guys have been buying Louis Vuitton, you might notice something is missing, which is the blue Louis Vuitton ribbon. I mean, have they stopped putting ribbons on their boxes? Because when I look at some Instagrammers unboxing their Louis Vuitton boxes, their boxes do have the blue ribbon, but this one doesn't have. So it goes back to that same issue again about the consistency of their packaging. But anyways, I'm opening the box now and inside that's my item so let me take this item out have you guys guessed what is in this dust bag so let's open it to reveal wow so this is it this is the item that i finally got my hands on it. Yes, if you guys are not aware, this is actually the new No Way and I got the one in red. So when this handbag was launched, I thought I would inch towards the pink one. But surprisingly, it still goes back to red because I feel that the red material goes very nicely against this monogram canvas and it looks so so beautiful inside still contains all those stuffings which i will remove shortly and of course this bag comes with a detachable shoulder strap let me take out the uh, stuffings inside here and attach the shoulder strap this is the bag again and i've already attached the shoulder strap so if you guys recall earlier i mentioned that there was an issue with this item when it was newly launched well that issue was actually the shoulder strap because originally 
there was some pieces of the shoulder strap that was released without the stitching so it was very unfair for those of people who have gotten this bag without the stitching but I know some of you out there do not really care but for me I really wanted this item to be at its original intended design which is to have the stitches on the shoulder strap this shoulder strap as you guys know it can be adjusted so I will be talking about those details maybe in my first impression or maybe my review video on this bag and the interior looks like that and it has a middle zip pocket for you to put the more valuable items to close this bag you just have to pull this leather pull and you are able to minimize the opening of the bag so once i have done that this is how tiny the opening will be anyways this is again my new item that i'm so excited to add into my collection and i really hope that you are also as happy as me and you saw me revealing this item because seriously this item is still very popularly sought after in Singapore so I am truly truly blessed to get my hands on this one and also in the color that I like so that's the end of my video I really hope that you enjoy watching me unbox this item and if you guys enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up and also if you have yet to subscribe to my channel please do so and also remember to click on that notification bell so that you are notified each time I release a new video and also please do follow me on my Instagram because I'm pretty active at that platform and once again thanks for watching and see you on my next video bye